Aloha, welcome to day number 122. Go ahead, open up your Bibles to the book of Philippians, chapter number three. Philippians chapter number three. But before we jump into God's word, let's open in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today and just thank you so much for another day of life. Thank you for everything that you do for us. I uh, just pray that you would speak through me this hour. Pray that hearts would be tender, minds would be focused. Remove the devil and his distractions. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're just going to be in one passage today. Uh, Philippians chapter number 3, looking at a couple of verses. Uh, look at verse number 13 and 14. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You know, you guys are about to, uh, some of you are about to start a new school, like you're going to college for the first time. Uh, some of you may be making this transition from middle school to high school or you're just going to a new grade and really this is a, a a really new transition for you with you won't even be going to school in person every single day uh, some of you are going to be opting out to stay at home so a lot of different new things going on i feel like these two verses uh, can help you with that transition you know it says there uh verse number 13 he says forgetting those things which are behind so what's behind us the past right i remember when i was a sophomore in high school if you don't know what sophomore means that means 10th grade uh, i was a sophomore in high school and uh, I, was, I played basketball and we were playing our rival school west montgomery we were east montgomery they were west montgomery and anytime our two schools came together huge rivalry we wanted to win they wanted to win it was like that in every sport basketball football wrestling whatever and so but it was basketball this time and the score was 50 to 50 10 seconds left on the clock they pass me the ball i pump fake the guy jumps he misses me and i go i shoot 50 to 50 i hit the game winning shot i was on cloud nine Next day at school, they announce my name over the speaker, most valuable player, Adam Steed. Everybody's congratulating me, high-fiving me. It was awesome. But next week, we had another game. Now, I don't remember uh, who we played, but I couldn't go to my coach. I couldn't go to the officials and say, hey, uh, I hit the game-winning shot against West." Can we just carry those points over to this game? Doesn't work like that. It's a new game. Uh, there was a new MVP for that game. There was a new game-winning shot for that game. I, I, I think uh, we won that game, but it wasn't even like a close thing or anything like that. Um, but I couldn't take the points that I had scored previously and carry them over, right? Forget those things which are behind. It was done in the past. Now, same thing goes on with our daily hygiene, right? Uh, if you walk up to somebody and they're like, brah, your breath stinks. Like, oh, how's that? I, I brushed my teeth last week, Monday. Whoa, you're supposed to brush your teeth every day, morning and night, maybe even more than that, all right? If you're having a hard time with that, remember to brush your tongue too, okay? Uh, you can't just rely on what you've done in the past. So you might walk up, man, your whole body stinks. Oh, how's that? I took a shower five days ago. No! You're supposed to shower every day. Sometimes you got to take more than one shower. If you run and sweat and playing basketball, okay, you shouldn't be coming home from playing basketball and then just jump right into bed. That's nasty. All right, you can't rely on what you did in the past when it comes to your hygiene. It's a new day. You need to brush your teeth. And you need to wash your body, all right? So, and same thing goes on with your relationship with God, with you spiritually. Just like physically it's a new day, spiritually it's a new day. You can't say, oh, I read my Bible five days ago. You can't count on that. That was in the past. It's a new day. You need to spend time with God today, right? Uh, oh, I went to church at Easter time. 
or Christmas time. No, 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 no. It's a new Sunday. It's time to be in church again. It's a new Wednesday. Time to be in church again. Uh, your relationship with God needs to continue daily. What if I only spent time with Miss Kathleen once a week? Or what if you only got to spend time with your parents once a week or with your best friend once a month, right? Like, ah, I spent time, I played video games with him a month ago. Then your relationship would crumble. If I only did that with Miss Kathleen, my marriage would fail. I remember hearing this one story. I think it was like a joke. I don't know if this is a true story, but I remember hearing something about uh, a husband and a wife. They were getting a divorce and uh, the judge asked the wife, well, why are you getting a divorce? And, and she said, well, he never tells me he loves me. And the judge asked the husband, is that true? And he said, oh, I told her I loved her the day we got married. And that was it. That's the only time he ever said it. He was relying on the past to get him to the point he is now. No, he was supposed to do it every day. I love you. I love you. I love you. Spend time with her. Show her love. Tell her love. Right? And the same thing goes on for you and your relationship with God. Now, so forgetting those things which are behind applies two ways. Number one, you can't rely on the things that you've done well. Just like I got MVP in that basketball game or, you know, uh, when I first got to Oahu 10 years ago, I led a young man to the Lord on the island of Kauai. 10 years as a missionary on Oahu, I can't rely on that one act of serving the Lord. I have to continue to serve the Lord every single day. So you got to forget the good things. Now, it's, they don't get me wrong. They're good, and you can have memories of them, but you can't rely on them. You can't use them as a crutch. And the other thing that hinders us as Christians is, and includes the forgetting those things which are behind are the sins. We need to confess our sins to the Lord. We need to ask for forgiveness. And now it's a new day. We need to put them in the past. Sometimes we get caught up in, well, I sinned this sin yesterday, I might as well do it again today. And, and it haunts us and it hurts our heart and we dwell on it. We, and that's something that I really struggle with. When I uh, harp on something or dwell on something, it really circulates in my mind and it stays there. And it takes me a while to push it in the past. So forget those things, the good things that you've done. And it's a new day, and it's a new time to spend with the Lord, and forget the bad things that you've done. Now, I'm not saying forget them and then do them again. I'm saying forget them and move forward in your relationship with God, and don't let them hinder you in your relationship, because the devil's going to try to make you feel bad about it constantly. Once you've confessed it, once you've apologized, that's it. Move on from it. All right, conquer that sin. Then it says there, forgetting those things which are behind, this is the, the best part, reaching forth unto those things which are before. It's a new day. Behind, that's the past. Before, that's your present and your future. New day, new opportunities. This is going to be a new year for you. This, you should make goals academically. If last year, maybe you got uh, a D in English and an A in math, right? You want to strive, say, all right, I'm going to get an A in math again, but English, I'm going to work harder and bring myself up. I'm going to talk to the teachers. I'm going to get tutoring. I'm going to have an after-school group, so, you know, something to improve. So it's a new day. Reaching forth under those things we started before, having new goals academically and most importantly, spiritually. You should be striving to get closer to God every single day. But how are you going to do that? Uh, oh, I need to set a specific time to spend with God every single day. Maybe it's 6.30 in the morning or maybe it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, whatever it may be. I'm going to read through the whole New Testament before December, something like that. Set a goal to reach forth. That's what uh, verse number 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's your ultimate goal is God, your relationship with God, that prize. Now that prize is unattainable on earth. It's in heaven, but we should be reaching forth unto it while we're here on earth. Continuing in your relationship, start fresh, make goals academically and spiritually press toward Christ. All right, a couple of questions here for you. Number one, why did I get MVP in the East versus West game? Number two, 
What is a new goal you are going to set for yourself academically? And number three, what is a new goal you're going to set for yourself in your relationship with God? And number four, what does it mean to forget those things which are behind? All right, have a great day. We love you. God loves you. And aloha.